thought I'd try a quick demo. Um, I think I mentioned this in another demo, but uh, this would just be a pair of boots. And um, if you check in with me, I can send you a template of this drawing, eight and a half by 11. This one is on 11 by 15. But anyway, uh, the drawing is a pre-drawn template on, and you can print it on a eight and a half by 11 letter size watercolor paper. And then just go from there and follow the demo. But in this case, what I'm gonna do is I've got a piece of scrap here. I'll give you the scrap, the photo also. And you can do it in different colors, but I'm gonna just fill this area all in with a wet wash, just clear water over the drawing. I want to get the paper kind of nice and wet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to let uh, some of the, the just the watercolor do some of the painting for me. And I'm using a one inch wash brush to get to put the water on there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with a larger round brush to put in my color. The larger round brush in this case is going to be a number 12. Show you that. I use Princeton brushes and this is a round number 12. Anyway, you can see there on it number 12. Get your brush nice and wet. Get that water up into the ferrule. And then we're going to start this out with a, just a plain burnt sienna. I'm gonna grab a little burnt sienna out of the thing here and mix it on my tray. Now remember, we already got water on that paper. So, and what I wanna do is I wanna dull this down just a little bit. So I'm gonna add a little ultramarine to it to kind of give it a little more um, rather than a bright reddish brown, a little more reddish brown. So I got a nice hurry up in here. I'm just gonna put color right in there to start with and pick up a little more color and I want a little darker color right here now it's going to run a little bit but it's not going to run a lot and then I want to color over here try to come in about the same we're going to come down in here like that and then I'm going to take this same color And run it down in this area and what the what the dampness in the paper is doing is letting me work a little slower because it's staying a little damp and then I'm going to just put a little more dark this area here and See if you can see that. Yeah. Okay. Got this here, and then I'm going to bring over a little more ultramarine for a little darker color, and then I'm going to go right in here with that. Now there's an interesting thing in here. You could do some fun things with this if you wanted to take the time. You could actually go in here and get some of this checking on the inside of the boot. Um, be kind of fun to do that and um, with um, with uh, masking fluid and I have a couple of demos you could go to and look for the masking fluid demos so you could get an idea of how to how to do that a little better. I'm going to put a little more color over in here. Um, so we got the top of the boots now. Now, the rest of the, uh, interestingly enough, 
this area is already pretty much dried and I'd like to keep that a little more even. So I'm going to go back in there and I'm going to keep a little white area there but I'm going to come back in here and put some more water in there so I can do a more even I could get a more even wash. So now I'm going to take almost the straight almost the straight burnt sienna out of the pan mix it a little bit maybe just with a touch of of the blue get that maybe a little more burnt sienna want a little brighter for this part now remember this is wet so see I'm going to get a much more even wash and it's actually colors moving on me which is fine and then because I want it even darker I'm going to go back in and pick up a little more burnt sienna I'm going to go back in and Put that back in and I want the front of it to be a little darker so a little more blue that's ultramarine by the way blue but ultramarine it could be cobalt um, and I'm going to go up in here and bring that down so I get more of a shadow and then I've got some places in here I want to pick up the same color I want to put a little bit of color right up against that. Okay. And that's going to make me a nice watercolory piece back there. Now, in here, I'm going to have to do a little dry brush, so I'm not going to get into that right now. And notice how this is white in here and has some nice um, open paper areas. I'm going to leave some of that and I'm going to come in here where I got a dark shadow come across there and I got a dark shadow here above where the belt comes across and a little more in there I'll bring it back to the back of the boot do some nice things in here and we can actually put a couple of shadow areas in there and then there's a place where this kind of comes across the mix so you can do something a little different here too you don't have to have exactly the same thing so you're getting a nice feel for the boot here again get some darker color in there and then what we talked about was this is be a little more of a dry brush so this is this is dry now or fairly dry so what we can do is do this we can actually take a tissue and take some of the color off of our brush on the tissue and then get some of this kind of edgy try not to cover all your white up it's got a really nice Look to it with some of the white high contrast. And then we got this area that comes up along there. So you can kind of do that. And then go back in and just 
get a little more of the dark. And where there's dark areas, you put a little more of that dark in. And you can take that and kind of put it over there. And just checking to make sure the camera is still working. Occasionally I get doing this and then I look over and the camera is for some reason either timed out or shut off on me or done something to drive me crazy so I don't know where I left off and and uh, so anyway so now we got kind of a nice interesting boot effect there and then we're going to come back in here with a little more of the burnt sienna just right over the and maybe I'll mix a little more water in so we get a little lighter scheme in here. And then And then what I think I want to do is even go a little lighter. And I just mix a little more water into the exact same paint I've got there. You can see that paint. I'm just putting a little more water with it. And then I'll get a lighter t tone value. And then I come up here and I'll catch that right there. And I want to leave a little white. And then I'm going to come down right to the belt buckle. And if you're looking at your looking at your scrap there, you're going to get that idea. Then I want to put a little more color in here. Actually, I kind of screwed up there. So if you screw up, just take and put some clean water in your brush, squeeze it out with either your fingers or your tissue. And then go back in and lift that color where you didn't want it. Right along the top of the, the belt there, I want to highlight. So that's going to be enough to do what I wanted to do. And then this, here I want to be about like that. And then I'm going to come back in here. And pick that up. Sort of pay attention to your scrap, but you don't have to be exact. So I'm leaving the the metal bracket kind of plain there, and then I'm going to take a little bit of dark color, and I'm going to put a little punch there, a little punch there. I'm going to put a shadow there where the out comes through and we'll go back in and clean do some uh, work on that too we'll work on the on the uh, round the buckle a little more and get get some interesting things going on there and I want a dark color fortunately you probably don't have the tremor that I'm experiencing right now but it kind of goes to show that you can have a tremor and do this too. So I want to do that. And then because I want that dark, but see how this little highlight is there? So I'm going to take the tissue and lift the color along there. And then come back in. Come back 
can light that. Okay, we're getting the feel of the of the belt and the boot and the things going on. This is kind of interesting in here, um, and we'll do more with that when we come back in when that dries. And you can always come back in and do do the some of the white in a, in a light version, so you. I'm not going to be too worried about that because I'm going to come back in and do that darker and I'm going to take just a little bit of blue put it in that shadow then and I'm going to take and clean the brush out I'm going to take and go right along there with with clean water so that shadow gets really subtle. It just kind of melts into the foreground. So, and we're going to darken this heel too. So, and then here, this belt is a little stronger than this belt. So we can go back to our original colors, our burnt sienna, with just a touch of the ultramarine in it. And we can do this just with a wet brush. On dry paper. Okay, so, and what I want to do is I want to give me some of that worn look right in here. You just keep going back with the brush with a little color in it you're going to kind of make it a little darker a little darker and then it's finally it'll get to where you want it so and then i want to put a little bit of a color in there and maybe just a, there we go and you can come back in and you can pick up some of that color. Give it a little touch. And then we're going to go into the top of the boot. I mean the top of the foot of the boot. So then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just put a little more of that same color on my brush and come back in here and kind of model that in. Okay, I'm going to take a little blue, a little ultramarine, 
with a darker gray and I'm going to put it in a couple of places here because I want to get a little darker. Look to that. So, I'm going to get some So you can see how you can bring it, keep bringing the color in and give you the feeling and then we'll put some of these little cracks and stuff in it as we go along. Right now what we want to do is just get the modeling for the boot. Now the boot in the back I'm going to make a little darker than this one just to set it off. So what we need is we need the original color which is the burnt sienna and then I'm mixing it with a little bit of the more of the ultramarine. And one of the things it'll do is it'll kill the ultramarine a little bit and turn it into a, a kind of a warmish gray brown. And then we'll look at this and it'll actually set the boot in the back, it'll set it behind the other boot somewhat. So, I'm going to bring it right up along there. Keep that going all the way up to that boot. So then I'm going to come back and pick up some of the burnt sienna again. the lighter spot in the boot. Notice the boot in the back has almost no white highlights. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to keep this top of the boot A little grayer. You know, gotta watch out now. Don't get in where you just painted. So we're gonna come up. So it's a little different color. I think I'm going to just put a little more blue right up in there. This is going to dry lighter, keep in mind. Watercolor is Watercolor always dries light, lighter, so we're going to have a nice 
being there. And then I'm going to come back and pick up a little bit of the brown again. I've got an interesting little thing there that I didn't get in the drawing. And going to go back in and pick up some of that blue again. And some of the other things you can do with this when you're looking for fabric and folds and stuff and you got a wash like that and you want to highlight I want to highlight coming right up through there so what I'm going to do is put some water on clean water on that and then I'm going to pull the highlight right out with my brush and I can just keep rubbing that highlight till I get it almost white and if I get it too much a um, couple of things you can do. You can cheat, which I do occasionally, and you can put a darker color in there, right in there, that'll give you that little piece of white you want. And then I want a little kind of thing in here. And I definitely want this darker. So there. Okay, now that sets the top of the boot be that's behind, apart from the boot in the front. <clears throat> and then let's just take a little of the color that we got, and we're just gonna get kind of wash the color in here. Like I said, there's not much white in this boot in the back, but we'll give it some right there. And we'll go back in and pick up a little more color. Okay. I'm not saying much right now because I'm concentrating on getting this kind of to do what I want it to do. And some wrinkles in there. And then I'm going to bring darker color up along there, so we'll make that pretty dark. I'm just going in with a sepia. Okay. Remember we were 
talking about this cracking up in here. You can get that also by just taking a little darker color. We can take those edges, some of that heavier color out of there. And then you can also take anything with a little bit of a sharp edge edge of a pencil, tongue depressor, whatever. And you can scrape some of those just by scraping the paint while it's still wet. Exactly the way it should look and if you don't like the way it looks you just soften the effect a little bit and also come in with a little opaque white later on and do stuff with it and I'm going to just color in a little bit of this I don't want it to be just perfectly white in there and this should be have a little shadow to it and I'm going to actually bring in a little bluish gray Shadow right on there in this area. paint on my brush squeeze squeeze it out a little bit get a little dry brush soften that edge just a little bit <clears throat> And you can get in here with, uh, you can get in here with your different colors, do some different things. Kill those whites down a little bit to make it a little more cohesive. Just get the color to to take the color
kind of dark edges there. And lift a little bit of that. You can go to a smaller brush if you if you're having trouble with this. I'm not having trouble because I'm using the tip end of the brush, so it gives me a pretty fine drawing line. Problem I got is my hand shakes a little bit, so um, I have trouble maintaining some control at times. Anyway, there's some really nice dark shadows in the um, in the boot in this area so you can come in And like I said, I cut my hand in the paint. So. Most of the time you can wipe that out. And here again, we talked about This edge down here being darker, and then you can actually take a smaller brush and do some of these lines going up these cracking lines. So, Still getting in the paint, so. And put your detail in. We could detail in any way you want. And you can work this line in this seam. So, I 
and then the real dark area here. Let me check to make sure the camera is still working. Is the sole, and it comes around. And then the heel. So you get in it, you get in the feel, you get in the direction uh, when you put a little piece of color in like that maybe you want it to be a little more subtle so you just come back and put a little water in it and you can bring it across tie things together And I'm think I'm gonna kind of leave it to you at this point to just kind of play with it, see what you can do with it. Oh, there's little spots there I was talking about where the So just do some modeling and have some fun with it. And then when you're, you can just leave the background alone. Doesn't need, background doesn't need any work on it. My, You don't need as much detail in the boot in the back. It's just a suggestion. People know what it is. It doesn't have to be a big wheel. Sharply drawn piece of art just can be a If you'd like to put a highlight in somewhere, like right up through here, take some water, clean water, soften and lift your color up. It'll give you a highlight. So, and then if you don't want quite as much uh, highlight in here, you can.
make some water and then just lift a little bit of it out so this is a I wanted to just pop that that back, uh, the front boot out a little bit from the back boot. So you just make the back boot a little darker, right along the edge. Moves the front boot right in the spot. Okay, I think I'm going to let that go just like that. I'm not going to put any more color or any more anything into it except. Down here, I want a little shadow area. I want a little shadow area there too. I'm going to take a little more blue. A little more blue up in there. Then take some color, take some water out of the brush, squeeze a little bit. Shadows. Should be relatively soft. And you can just take a dry brush And go along there and then I'm going to just take a little bit of color Actually, I'm using just a touch of cat orange. And I'm touching in places to pick up the color of the boot in the shadow. Kind of ambient light gives you an interesting look. Maybe just a little more here. And then I'm going to, when that dries, I'm going to make this little piece here darker. You can see it in the scrap here, it's darker. And maybe even Darken that a little bit. I say if you want to 
play a little more, you can play a little more. You can just keep playing with it. You gotta watch out, you gotta know when to stop. So, how about that? How about we stop right there? Call it a day.